guys, it's Katie here again from Bella Creative and, and we're up to part, I don't even know anymore, <laughs> of making the Memory Keeper book. So if you have stumbled across this um, video, then um, I suggest you head straight back to the beginning of this playlist for the Memory Keeper book so that you can find out what we're actually talking about. Otherwise, you might be a little bit confused. But in previous videos, I have referred to this, which is um, the SVG file for the Memory Keeper book. But just as a reminder, it also comes as a set of printable templates if you don't have a cutting machine for SVG files. And I am referring to this one here, but all the pieces on here are also in the printable templates. And this is just a much easier way to show you everything in one go. Everything that I've cut out, I'm going to write a list in the description box so that you can just look in the description box under this video and see what pieces I've cut out so you don't have to write it down or remember. Okay, so the pieces in blue I have cut out of a cardstock. It is this cardstock here. It's about it's about 180 GSM. It's actually quite horrid. It's a different brand from what I've tried before. It probably doesn't matter much to you because I'm in Australia and we have a whole different range of things here, I think. But oh, hang on a second. I'm trying to grab it. Now, I don't want to rat out anybody, but this is the cardstock that I'm using that I personally do not like. So it is by Colourbox. Uh, and it doesn't, it doesn't say what weight it is. Oh, it's distributed by American Crafts. Anyway, my feeling is that I'm not keen on it. But you might, so I don't want to turn you away from it, except it's 180 GSM. And then I am using printable templates for my scrapbook paper or um, matting paper, and all of those um, digital downloads I have got from Etsy and I'll put a link to all of those in the description box as well in case you would like to use them if not for this project for something else but remembering that you can use anything you like to make this project I'm just giving you some ideas um, but really it's up to you what paper you use what kind of page layouts you do what you keep in here it's all up to you so um, we've just got three more pages left to do so I've cut out three pages worth of bits and pieces and we're going to put it all together I haven't put any of my inserts or anything in here yet I just do all that at the end I just concentrate on getting my book finished otherwise I get a bit um, weighed down with what I'm going to put in here <laughs> okay so um, this is page I don't know um, page one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm hoping we're going to do six, seven, and eight today. So let's get on. These are the pieces that I've cut out for page six. Uh, I've tried to save a bit of time by putting some mats on some of the pockets. So this is short pocket three. Short pocket three, and I've already put the mat on that one. I have the long belly band, which I've already put the mat on that one. And then we have two of the long pocket ones, I think. If they're the same height as our book, then they are. Yes. Two of the long pocket ones. And we're going to use them as flips, not as pockets. So I have also cut out four of the mats. To go on long pocket one, one for each side of both of those. And then I have cut out a mat for the base page, so that's this one here, the base page mat, the pink piece. I've cut out one of those. And we're just going to put it all together. So these bits will put together last. The first thing we'll do is let's, let's put the book away. Let's put the book to the side put those to the side and let's get with this one here because these two long pockets I'm going to cut the tabs off the these two ends here because 
we are not going to use it as a pocket. So I'm lining up my score line here on my cutting board. I'm just going to cut those little tabs off. So my Cricut put these score lines here for me. Very um, simple way to craft, I think, once you get the hang of how to use a, a cutting machine. It opens up a whole new world. <laughs> so I'm just cutting those tabs off both of these pieces. And then we can pop that one to the side. And I have already folded that long tab on these and I've done a bit of inking, but I'm going to do a little bit more where I've just cut those tabs off. This is a pretty simple page. Not every page is, is difficult, is it? It's just figuring out what you can do with it, all of the bits and pieces. Sorry if you can hear that noise, that um, hot again today. I have the air conditioner on and I'm staying inside in the cool. Now I don't think that's quite right. I think I haven't quite cut that off evenly so I'm just going to line it up with this one. Maybe I've just cut them both unevenly. <laughs> Well, actually, they look pretty good. So I'm just imagining it. Let's put a bit of ink on here. Sometimes when you cut those tabs off, you don't do a fabulous job of it. Okay. So I'm just going to put these on my book. I'm going to put one on this side as a flip and then one on this side as a flip, super easy. Now I'm using, I hopefully am using my art glitter glue. I, um, I've been having problems with it wanting to come out. So I went and gave the nozzle a good clean, which, um, you know, held it under the tap. It seems to be helping. So I'm just gonna line this up right along the edge here. Try. I'm just going to flip it around, sorry if I'm making it difficult, but um, just so I can see the side of the page, make sure I've light lined that up, because there's nothing worse than you t your page is not being lined up on the edge and everything hanging over it. Okay, whoops. Open that out. I have, um, I have a little cloth here for wiping up my gluey mess. It's not that it matters especially because the mat will cover that up. And that's that one. And then I'm going to apply the glue onto this tab and I'm going to stick this one on this side, lining it up against that score line. So it's a bit like doors, but what, you know, oversized doors, I guess. Put one there, put one there. Just give it a burnish. that down. Okay so now all we really need to do is just um, do some matting here and I was thinking maybe I put um, some magnets on here to hold this one onto this one. So what I might do is put a magnet at the top and the bottom because if I put one here in the center if I then want to use this um, for a photo 
it might be too much for the magnet in the middle to go through all of that thickness. I'm thinking out loud, can you tell? So, do I want to put them on the edge? Or... You know, one thing we haven't done for a while is do a little a little bow. So just uh, maybe we instead of magnets, I'll use a little bit of sari ribbon and make, or something to make a little bow here. So I'm just going to go and grab something that I think will work and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I have this uh, sari um, ribbon which I thought I would use. It's nice. The thing about you know, seam binding or sari ribbon is it's nice and soft and it's easy to tie. It's perfect for this kind of thing. So I have this really pretty, pretty um, chiffon ribbon, but this stuff just doesn't tie as nicely. So we're going to use this. Is what I'm. It's what I'm alluding to. <laughs> um, so I am going to find the centre of this piece here because. I would like my seam binding to be, my, or my sari ribbon to be, you know, fairly centred. And then I'm just going to put glue there. Oops, I'll drop it and splash it all over myself. Put a bit of glue here. very restrained piece amount of glue for me I must say and I'm just trying to open this out because it's sort of folded in on itself and stick that on there like so maybe a bit more glue under there now I have to make a decision I think I'm going to round these corners. I couldn't decide. I'm going to use my corner rounder and I'm going to round these. And so I may as well do the same with this one. So I've rounded some in this book and left some. I guess it just means it was just about how I felt on the day, but I used to be a lot more worried about if I did the same thing all the way through. Now I'm not so worried. Okay, so then I can put my mat straight on top of that. So I believe the mat I wanted to use on here was this one. So we need to round these corners as well. ink on those corners and see this um this is just such bouncy bouncy um cardstock I'll just put my phone on top <laughs> that it won't stay down at night when I finish working on it and I leave it under a big heavy book at night and it squashes it flat and it's no problem then but it's just um, it really misbehaves until then I can see my phone sliding down. So this glue is just um, an acetate, acetone, sorry, base glue. All right, I'm gonna put my mat straight on top of there. Make sure that's pretty, um, well centered and give that a press. And then <laughs> on this one I'm going to put the um sorry ribbon over here. Get rid of that, and then we need a 
made a mat for this one. And I need to round the corners. And stick this one on. Pretty simple page really. went with different colours for a bit of contrast, didn't want it to be too samey samey. I feel like I spend more time deciding which, which colour of paper and which paper I'm going to use <laughs> than, than anything else, than actually making it. Spend ages deciding that. Okay, so it's going to fold over like this and we've got way too much of this. Let's just give it a go because I'll just trim a bit off when I'm done. So it's just going to tie up like that. That's cute. So let's trim all of this off. Let's trim it to here. Let's, I'll make it a bit longer in case I want to put some beads or something on the end. And I can always trim it shorter. Okay, so then on the inside, and this will sit flatter, I say, once again, once we have sorted out resting something heavy on it. So this is my base page mat, and I'm just going to pop that in the middle. And then I'm going to put these mats on each side. So, you know, I may as well just do that and then I'll be back in a second. Um, what are they? <laughs> what are they? They're mats. I'm not thinking very clearly today. I thought I was. I thought I was down for this, but um, I feel like maybe I'm, I'm a little out of it. Um, so I'm just finding the halfway point here and here because I'm going to put this long belly band here and it, it's helpful if I can see where the centre of the page is when I put it on here. And I'm also going to find the centre of my belly band. I'll try to. If I could stop moving the ruler, it would be helpful. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on these two tabs here. And we have a belly band. I've used a few belly bands in this album. Been having a bit of a love affair with the belly band lately. <laughs> How weird does that sound? Okay, so I'm just lining that one up there and this one up here, and that's that. Good press. That fluff from my sari ribbon on there. And then that one's going to go there and this one's going to go here. I'm going to tie this up. This might have been a, dis a closure decision that I live to regret but we'll see. It's pretty. I like the ribbon. Like so. And then we have this little guy here which is the short pocket three and I'm just going to um, put fix these tabs together. And then put some glue on those. And I'm going 
and pop it here. Oh, that slurry ribbon has left fluff everywhere. Okay, I'm just going to slide it on here. Maybe I should have rounded that corner. Too late, mate. And that's that page done. Nice and simple. Okay, so I've got my next page here, which would be page seven, and I've cut some pieces out. I can't quite remember what I was planning on doing with this page. Let's have a look. It's, um, I don't know what that was for. Oh, okay. I've got one of those. One of those. I've got one of those, I've got one of those, and then I've got lots of mats. Okay, let's just do it. Let's put the mats to the side for now. Let's have a look at what I've cut out. I've got a short pocket four here. This one, ready to go. I have a short belly band, and I've already put the mat on that. I've got a corner pocket, but you'll notice that I flipped it or mirrored it so that it's pointing in the opposite direction. So when I cut it out, on my Cricut, I flipped it either on the canvas or if I was just cutting this piece on its own, I might have mirrored it on the mat when it came to cutting it out. Then I have got long po one of this long pocket two here and I've already put the mat on that one. Then we have a flip pocket one and a base page. This is a base page right um, so we need to do a little bit of trimming we need to cut some tabs and things off so once again I put the book to the side we'll go through the mats later when I remember what I was doing <laughs> what I do know is that I'm going to be using my base page as a flip so I'm going to cut this bottom tab off here so I'm just lining up that score line and I'm also going to cut this second there's a score line there which you can't maybe see too well um, because I haven't inked it because I'm going to cut that little tab off it's only little but um, we and we could leave it but I just don't want the bulk on the page so I may as well just trim that off and get rid of that so that's that one done then this one here is um, Flip, flip pocket one and it's going to be a flip not a pocket so I'm going to cut these top and bottom tabs off and make that into a flip and then that's that one this one's going to stay a pocket this one's staying a corner pocket this one's staying a belly band ah, but this one here is going to be a long skinny pocket so normally we use it this way but today I'm going to use it this way, so I'm going to cut this top tab off here. So I'll just line that up and cut that off. Okay, so I'm just quickly going to ink those pieces where I've cut the tabs off and then I'll be right back. Defense attorneys say, question, is it me or did that last witness blow up on Alan Murdoch? Uh, a little bit, a little bit. He changed his clothes, Kathy. Yes, he did, which he never told, um, which he never told the prosecution about it. He never told the prosecution about it. Question, with the missing money, could this lead to the jury thinking his defense is less credible because he had a tendency to lie for his benefit, especially with the lies to law enforcement being so obvious? I mean, I think it's possible. I mean, we know Alec Murdoch lied. Did that make does being a liar make him a murderer is what the jury's going to have to grapple with. Um, second question, was there any fingerprints on the phones too? Was there any life insurance? I've heard nothing about life insurance. I've seen nothing about life insurance. And were there any fingerprints on the phones? I don't know if they fingerprinted the phones. We haven't gotten there yet. It looks like they might have fingerprinted Maggie's phone. But even if they did, Alec had reason to be touching it. Like his fingerprints had reasons to be on the phone. It, what would be more telling is if they fingerprinted it and found someone else's or didn't find someone else's. 
Thank you for the visual timeline. I'll go look for it after we're done. Do you know if any of Maggie's family will be testifying? I don't think so, but we will see. Um, we will see. So I think Jim was, I think Jim thought, Okay. Okay, so I've just um, done my inking around the edges and I'm going to pop this mat on here. So this is Short Pocket 4 and it's the mat for Short Pocket 4. I'm going to pop that on here before I lose it because it's a tiny little mat. So I'll just pop that on there. And what's that? Now, the other thing I happen to re remember, the reason I have got using the, the um, pocket this way as a skinny one is I'm going to put it on this pocket here. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to put some glue on these tabs. Then a skinny little pocket. Some glue on those. And I'll put the dogs outside so that I can have some, some quiet time. I can hear them from here. I don't know what they're barking at. They probably don't know what they're barking at. Okay, so we've got a little pocket on a pocket. Tensy pocket on a pocket. Brilliant. So those are all the things that are going to go on last. So I can put those with that. And then let's bring this back. I think I was going to put this base page on here like this. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to cut some little tabs. They really are going off out there. I'm just going to cut those little tabs off that one there. Put some glue on here. If they don't quite down, I'm going to have to go and check them out. And I'm just going to line it up with this score line on here. Like that. And then we'll just make sure that this page is level with the edge. Give it a press. I think it's poking over a little bit. So you know what I'm going to do? This, I don't recommend that this is the way you should do it, but it can be done, I'm sure. I'm going to trim a little, little tiny bit off this page here which is a bit tricky, as you can see, because I have to hold it up. I suppose I could use scissors. I don't want to. <laughs> I'm cutting about two millimetres off. And I've only just thought of this, obviously, and that wasn't straight. So that, was, that didn't go well at all. I've obviously only just thought of this. Otherwise, I would have trimmed it before I stuck it on. Let's see what's going on here. Alright. There's only a tiny little bit now. Okay, that's good. But that means that I need to trim my base page, the mat that goes on here, and I, I can't quite remember which mat I've, I've cut for that one, so we'll, we'll figure that out in a minute. Okay, so that's like that. It's not even, Katie, you've done a terrible job. Let's get a ruler. And see if I can um, get this right. Okay, I'm just gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. With scissors. Okay, 
wish I'd never decided to do this now. <laughs> I just wanted to make it a little bit shorter because I'm going to put um, this one, this short, uh, what is it, flip pocket one on this side and I thought it might just um, flip over a little bit easier if I did that. And you can see my pencil mark. So let's just get rid of that. And we'll get rid of these tiny little bits of stuff that I've cut off. Alright, sort of back to where I meant to be. I might put a little bit of ink on here. And I might run around the corners. Wow, every dog in the street's going off now. <laughs> Now, I'm going to put this one on this back page here like this, but it's going to flip over on top of this one. So, we will find the center point so we can do the lining up. Um, it's about uh, here and center here. Here and then some glue around here. Oh, you know what? I was going to round these corners too, but I haven't. I'll do that in a minute. All right, so I'm just lining up those centers like that. Give it a press. Okay, and then I'll just quickly do this. Here and I think that one's going to go like that. Okay, so we've got some mats. So I've got two mats for this one here because we've made it a flip. So that's two mats for flip pocket one. I've cut two of those. And then, whoops, I've got, I should have one, two, three, four base page mats. So the base page mat, I should have four of those. I think I'm going to put that one on here. No, I should have three. Sorry, three. And those two there. Right, so I might go ahead, I'll just nip off, do that matting, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have put the mats on everything, and all we've got left to do is put all these little bits and pieces on. So... The corner pocket here, I've just already gone ahead and stuck those tabs together and I'm going to pop that one down on here, sort of matches over with this one, or the, the um, pattern, pa the pattern paper does, sort of try to tie the two pages together a little bit. So I'm going to pop this one on here. I really like a corner pocket because you can put any size thing in there. So I do use those quite a bit. And then on here, on this page, I'm going to pop this pocket, long pocket on here. Put the little baby pocket on it. So I'll just put some glue on this tab. this one down on there Just make sure that's stuck I've got a little bit of glue coming out the end here there we 
you go. And then on the inside, I'm going to put this little short short belly band and I noticed that in the next page I'm using the short belly band again so I really do have a thing for belly bands at the moment who knew anyway I'm going to pop this one here and I've already um, just done a little measurement here so that I can tell where the center is so I can just line this one up here and yeah. Get that press. Make sure that's stuck down. So it's bowed up a little bit because I've um, got it a little bit close to this corner. But that's okay because we're going to put something underneath it. Let's see if I can get it to flatten out a bit. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put that one there like that, and then this one over the top. Uh, yeah, come on, come on, belly band, don't be so difficult. And this is just going to go fling like that. But once I've um, pressed it, as I say, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So that's that page done. Flip, flip. They're pretty simple designs, but not. Not every album is meant to be um, really over the top. I'm just going to put a bulldog clip here while I work on this. So this last page doesn't fling back. And I think this is a pretty simple one as well. Looks like I've got, um, I've got some, I've got a, another, <laughs> I've got another corner pocket and I've got another short belly band and I've got some mats. And this looks very similar to what we did a couple of pages ago. I think, um, do I want to do it like this? Like that? Maybe in here? I could have this one here. And then I could have this one here. I actually think I'm going to do something different on that other page. Uh, what do we? What should we do? I might just make it open out like this again. Gives you lots of space to put things. Because it's the back page, it could be a bit tricky to do it any different. All right, so let's put this to the side. This is flip pocket number two and I'll tell you what this page here back here uh, this one I think I I think I meant to make it like um an envelope and actually leave this one closed like that I think that's what I was going to do on this one but obviously I haven't <laughs> um, you know, the faster you try to do something, the worse you're at, you are at it. And so this one, these pieces here are flip pocket number two. And they aren't quite as tall as the page. They're only just a little minute, little bit shorter than the page. Just because, you know, for the sake of layering. Um, but I think we'll just do the same thing. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. So... I don't know if I'll be able to work with these, but we'll um, give it a go. Okay, so I'll just pop that to the side. So these two pieces here, which are flip pocket number two, I'm going to cut the short tabs off those. So let's go ahead and do that. You know, and I think, um, obviously you can do whatever you want with the pages. Set it up however you like. Sometimes I come up with great ideas and then sometimes I can't think of a single thing. <laughs> so, um, or maybe I'm being a little bit repetitive here, but I don't know that anybody really notices too much. Every page looks different to most people. 
you, you use different paper and all that sort of a thing. Okay, I don't think I did a very good job of cutting that off straight. So I'm just going, I'm going to round the corners. Yes, I am. That one. And this one. I'll just quickly put a little bit of ink on here. this side because it's going to be a flip. It is now because I cut the tabs off. <laughs> and that one. And the bottom here. Last bit, sorry. There we go. Okay, so then we're just bringing a zip book, and I'm just going to do exactly the same thing that I did on the other page. Um, but you'll see that these layer up just a little bit shorter than the page. I think um, sometimes it's nicer to have some different lengths of things. So, get my glue off the end of my of there. And put this on here. I'm just going to try and center it as best I can. I'm not going to measure it because there's hardly anything to measure. Oops, that just wobbled. to be quite brutal with this cardstock to get it to stick. And then this one, I'm going to leave that one down so I can use it to line up this one. Okay, so then this one's going on the edge of the page and I'm going to line it up with this one here pretty much probably would have helped if I'd um if I'd cut it <laughs> straight never mind okay and we'll press this one down matting so I've got a mat for each side of these I've got this would be my base page mat I think it's my base page mat and then I have some mats to go on here to there and to there so I'll just go ahead and go and do that and then all we've got left to do is pop these two in and that's it, that's the last page. Yay! Alright, we're back in a second, I'll just do this matting. Okay, last page, last pocket, last couple of things. So I've gone ahead and put all of those mats on. I also went ahead and put that belly band on that base page already because we just did it in the last page so I didn't think you'd want to see how to do it again and this one I was thinking I would just pop on here that that's 
as much as I thought I, was, I would do. So let's do that. Let's do that. And then that's the pages done. So I'm going to go off and make some inserts um, and things to go in all my pockets. And um, I'm going to embellish or do something with the covers because right now they're just plain white. I always leave it to the end or most often leave it to the end. Um, and then, you know, just a few finishing touches. And then I'll be back with um, hopefully a flip through really soon. So, thank you very much for joining me through all of these long parts. There's our main sort of important bit, which was the actual little um, boxes. And then we have all our pages here. So yeah, I'm going to do the cover, I'm going to do lots of inserts, make it look pretty and um, then I'll do a flip through. So if you're interested you can pick up the SVG files for um, electronic cutting machines from my Etsy store. If you don't have a cutting machine it doesn't matter because there are also printable templates that you can pick up in my Etsy store um, and then you can make something like this yourself. So I hope to see you back for the flip through. Thank you very much for wading through all of these parts and these videos with me. I really appreciate it and I hope to see you soon. Bye for now. Bye.